Once in a while, a new game trailer comes out that surprises everyone just by how good it looks. Some of the latest being Black Myth Wukong, For Honor of King's World, and today we're talking about another game that sits within this category as we're looking at Blight Survival. This game looks like it's going to bring a mix of a medieval world as well as survival gameplay for hopefully great results. So let's go through everything we know about the game and help you decide if this is one you should put on your radar. Since we're on the topic of amazing game trailers though, what is your favourite game trailer of all time? Speaking personally, the SWOTOR trailers are some of the best out there when it comes to cinematic trailers, and if you haven't seen them, definitely go and check them out. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, you can show support by clicking like down below because it really does help, and subscribe so you don't miss out on what we have planned for you guys next. So let's go over a little bit about what this game is. It seems to be a game that a lot of people are going to be happy with contextually because Blight Survival is aiming to be a four-player co-op action horror roguelite. It's the debut game of the Hey Near Studio, a two-man studio. It's currently only PC listed for the platforms, but on Twitter the developers said that it is their hope to bring it to consoles as well. From the gameplay it looks awesome, and you can definitely see the Last of Us inspiration within it, from the dodging animations to the prone crawling and things like that. Here's what the official description of the game says. Like Survival is a 4 player co-op action horror roguelite set in an unforgiving no man's land between two desolate states at a ceaseless war. Within this purgatory a new strain of blight has sprung from the remains of the dead, strengthened by blood that has been spilled it rapidly spreads, turning man into monster. As the nation bleeds by war, they call upon you and your kin with the offerings of coin. Being the only ones willing and capable, you've been tasked to venture in and raise the all-consuming blight. It's absolutely great to see the developers taking a genre and putting their own spin on it, so we love to see that. The game is being developed in Unreal Engine 5 though, and we can of course see this within the visuals of the game, and it does look great, especially for a studio's first game. But what can we expect from the gameplay? As we can see in the trailers, the players will have to balance stealth and playing aggressively to get around these zombies within the game. The players will have access to both stealth attacks and a variety of different weapons, as within the trailer we got to see a knight use both a bow and sword. If we take a closer look at the user interface, it gives us clues as to some of the gameplay mechanics, such as the combat action requiring stamina similar to Souls games. The UI has the current resources listed, but we don't currently know what this is and if it's used to level up or not. It's highly possible being some kind of survival game that it could be a currency that you spend at a vendor to get resources or weapons. Interestingly though, there is a clear UI element that shows the time of day. We're speculating that maybe the time of day has a factor into the enemy behaviour as to how aggressive the zombies become, kind of similar to how Dying Light does it, where at night time everything is more dangerous. Players will be able to play Blight Survival with up to three other players for a total of four online players in co-op, and it's actually showcased within the trailer with another player going around as a main knight towards the end, and he does a typical co-op wave emote, which is pretty funny considering the setting is all doom and gloom, and then in co-op you have players running around waving at each other. Another thing to note is that the game will include monsters, as the official Steam page says, your way through both men and monsters in a violent co-op action experience. We're curious to see how the monsters are implemented within the game, and we could imagine them getting really horrifying in Unreal Engine 5's graphics. The game looks like it could be loot based, with players being able to pillage both the bodies of enemies as well as boxes around the world. We can actually see in the trailer a player looting a high rarity sword from one of the boxes, which does mean that rarity of weapons will play a factor. Personally, we know a lot of you guys enjoy a good single player experience, and hopefully this is one of those games that doesn't require co-op, but more so facilitates it. One thing we will say though, is that we do find co-op in this type of genre of game quite refreshing and great, as an intense horror is often a blast to play with friends. Hopefully they can take a look at Remnant from the Ashes, as that game did absolutely fantastic with the co-op experience. There's a few more tidbits that the developers have confirmed though. The game will have a huge amount of customization, which is always good to hear. There'll be plenty of talents to unlock and you'll gain experience as the developers have said, yes there will be experience gained that carries over from character to character, that can be used to unlock specific talents or traits for your character affecting your playstyle. Unfortunately the game won't be releasing in 2023 so I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. But in general Blight Survival does look like a pretty amazing and ambitious title, but of course as with any unreleased game remain cautious as the trailers can often look better than the actual games are themselves. The game is so far away from 
launching that it could be completely different by the time it comes out. We'll just have to wait and see. On top of this, remember it's a super small studio that are making it and it's their debut game. Hopefully they'll nail it and the game will be absolutely awesome to play, but only time will tell. But for now, this one will definitely be on our radar. So if you did enjoy this video, you can support us by clicking like down below or subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on what we have planned for you guys next. There's two more videos on the screen now that we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you found this game interesting, we have plenty more games on the channel that we go over that you should definitely check out. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.